Hi, thanks for joining me for this recording regarding how to set a Class Connect session. There's more than one way to do this, so I'm going to show you one of the ways to do it. You can work in this system when you log in here and you can set Class Connects from here, or you can do it in this section of the online school and create it from here. Either way, the process would be the same. So I'll do it from here. So you'll click on create a new session. And then you'll see this come up and this is the screen where you're going to select the type of session you have. For the most part, there are just a few you'll really need to work with. If you ever want a small group session scheduled where you want to invite just a few students in there and have that small group appear on their schedule, then you could select small group. Um, if you have a conference that you want to do with a parent, you could select either of these. If you want to invite just an individual, you could select this one. And then if you ever have an assembly for some reason, you can select this. But the most common ones that I work with are homeroom, classroom, and office hours. So basically for classroom, this is where you would use it if you want to invite students for a particular one of your classes for a live session. Homeroom, if you have a homeroom and you want to invite them into a homeroom class where you want to give them some sort of presentation. Office hours, where you would invite them for office hours or study hall time. And then general, I use this one when I'm going into a Class Connect session simply to make a recording. So these are your main options, and um, for right now, I'm going to start with classroom. So I want to invite a certain group of my students to my classroom, so I'll select that, and then I'll click continue. And then we'll give it a name. So I'm going to call this uh, Persuasive Writing Lesson 1 for my 102A class. Um, and then the default is going to be to your name. If you happen to co-teach this class and you want to invite another teacher in there, you can use the drop down and it'll have a list of all the teachers that are within our school. The subject is a mandatory field, so you'll need to select your subject. For me, it would be language arts. And if you're an electives teacher and none of these qualify, you could select other down here, okay? So for my purposes, I'm going to select language arts. The course or program, this is not a mandatory field, so I'm going to skip that for right now. And then here is when you want to schedule this session. So I'm going to just select today, but you could pick whatever day you need to. So I'll select today. And I want to schedule my session at 6 p.m. And you can set, schedule your sessions in 30 minute increments uh, as starting points. So you cannot pick, for example, 645. It would either be 6 or 630. And then the time zone, just leave it to whatever time zone you set on your computer. You want to uh, select how long of a session you have. And then you want to select if you're going to repeat this schedule class or not. So for example, if I wanted to meet with my 102A class every Monday at 6 p.m., I could select weekly and then set the parameters for that to repeat. Once you're in here, you'll select who you're inviting to this class. So I want to invite the students from my 102A class to this session. The learning coaches will also see your Class Connects listed on their end when they log in. So I select students and then I will go and look for the section of 102A that I want. And once I found the class that I want, I will click add and that will then populate the class name onto this side of the screen where the participants are listed then click continue and then you'll get a summary of what you just scheduled. So you'll see that I just scheduled a classroom. This was the name that I gave it. This is the start and end time and it's not a repeating session and this is who I invited to this class. When I click schedule session then it will finalize the scheduling and you'll then be able to see it once you refresh your screen in two different places. So if you're in this screen in the online uh, school, you'll see it here under your Class Connect sessions. 
And if you're looking in this part of the online school, you will see it here listed under Class uh, Connect Sessions. So if I click on List, they would come up, whatever I had scheduled. Um, students can also view the classes in the same way on their end. They'll see it here under uh, their Class Connect Sessions, and they'll also see it listed here under their Class Connect Sessions. That's pretty much it. The only other thing I want to point out to you is when you create a session for office hours, study hall hours, you would do the same exact thing, except you would select office hours. And when you do this, it automatically is going to assign it to all the people in your classes so everyone will see it on their schedule. So if you notice, it doesn't allow me to select participants and it's letting me know that they're all going to see it listed anyway in the office hour section. That's pretty much it. If you need to delete a session for some reason, you would do so from this screen. You would go to your Class Connect sessions and then you could, if the class time is in the future and it hasn't already passed, you can then go ahead and delete it. I don't have one on my screen right now where I could show you, but if you see this one here started at 5.30 p.m., which is why I can't access it now, but if this had started at 6.30 p.m. and right now it's 5.39, I would still be able to delete this and I would have a delete option here. If you have any questions at all, please do let me know.